My name is Sanya Bogdanovic Dinic. I'm head of data solutions here at HTEC. Data maturity assessment has been an essential part of the way we are working with data ever since we have started to work with data. However, the outcomes of data maturity assessments were uh, not that actionable and were often seen as vague. So it was re really hard to understand how doing data maturity can actually help the business grow, which is why in the past, and for a very long time, the stakeholders were not so enthusiastic about investing in data maturity and data readiness uh, efforts. However, with the recent changes, uh, especially over the last couple of years in data and AI landscape, the perspective has shifted a bit. First of all, we have increasing volumes of data today. Uh, businesses are generating large amounts of data, and we're not talking only about the size of data, we are also talking about diversity and the complexity of data points they are using in their day-to-day -day operations, which is urging them to start thinking in a more strategic way about new approaches on how to handle uh, these amounts of data. Then we have uh, technology advancements, especially in the last year with AI. Uh, the technology is um, unlocking some new capabilities, which is further unlocking some new opportunities. So businesses feel that urge to invest in AI and to embrace the new technology uh, so they would not miss on those, on those new opportunities. And finally, there is a competitive pressure as well. More and more businesses are claiming to be data and AI driven, and those businesses that are early in that journey uh, are feeling threatened and uh, they feel that pressure of being overperformed if they don't engage as soon as possible. So all of this is creating that urge and that pressure to start uh, putting data on the roadmap and to start thinking about the quality of the data uh, because we all know that if we want to build a data and AI solution that is effective, then we have to have a high quality and reliable data at the foundation of this solution. Over the last years, we have seen a lot of data and AI projects kick off and fail. And uh, usually the reason for that is that rush into implementing new technology without fully understanding either the technology or your own capabilities of dealing with that technology. And this is where uh, the assessments, the data maturity assessment plays a key role. It can help the businesses um, understand the, the weaknesses, the specific weaknesses related to either data governance or data quality or data infrastructure or uh, skill set internally. And that can further be used to prioritize and to actually have a sense of how to get to that final uh, data and AI goal. Now, being honest with those assessments is the key. And if a business is tempted to overestimate their data capabilities, then they are at risk of facing an illusion of a progress. They will fall into a false sense of security while technical and data debts will be piling up in the background. And that will ultimately lead to losing trust in data, to losing trust in data products they are building. And finally, they will lose the reputation with their internal stakeholders, with their partners, with their customers, which in the end will cost a lot more than investing into an assessment. Also, if choosing not to do that uh, self-assessment at all in the first place, then uh, the stakes are even higher because you will face um, having missed opportunities, you will face uh, having very poor ROI on data and AI solutions and initiatives, and ultimately it will hold you back on your data and AI transformation journey. HTEC 